Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. So today's recipe was actually supposed to be something totally different. These were supposed to be brownie cookies with raspberry cream Kit Kats. It totally didn't work out that way. It was a total fail. I saved the recipe so today I'm going to show you how it failed and then at the end I'm going to give you the recipe for the actual brownies and how to make these successfully. Let's get started. When I started this recipe, I had this amazing shot of all of our ingredients and here I basically have the ingredients listed on the back of my brownie box except for the water and I added more oil. And here is a close up of the raspberry cream Kit Kats and these are actually made with the new ruby chocolate. So I found that very interesting. They are delicious. And here I was basically getting ready to show you all the close-ups of the cool, cool things that I'm using today. And this is how my recipe fail started. So to a box of brownie mix, I added two large eggs and twice as much the amount of oil, I believe. Um, there really is no point in me telling you how much oil I used, but it was too much. At the end, uh, my cookies were a disaster and you'll see that in a few minutes. But here I'm basically taking all of these things, mixing them together into what I thought was going to be a beautiful brownie tasting dough to which later I'm going to add pieces of Kit Kat. It sounds so romantic. It sounded perfect. In my head it worked and in case you've been here on the channel before or in case you are new, I do have a few tutorials where we made cookies using cake mix and we basically made it into a cookie batter. It worked perfectly. So basically I used the exact same measurements of oil and eggs and tried to do that with brownie mix, but apparently it doesn't work. So take note of that. Do not ever try to make cookies with the exact same recipe that we did with our cake box mix. I'm pretty sure it works. I still have to do a little bit of testing to see what measurements we need to make brownie mix work into cookies. Nevertheless, the next step here was to add my beautifully ruby pink pieces of raspberry cream Kit Kats. And these were actually delicious. I'm not quite sure if this is a limited flavor um, because of Valentine's Day, but I do appreciate the flavor. The color is beautiful. I love how the chocolate looks against the pink um, and one of the reasons why I chose this combination was because obviously Valentine's Day is in a few days and I wanted to bring you Valentine's inspired recipes and this just worked in my head. Here you can see all the oil and the excess oil and at this point I'm thinking you know what this might still work I had no clue what I was getting myself into and now I'm taking a mini eighth of a cup scoop and I'm basically going to scoop all of this dough into small little balls into these little baking sheets. Very soon I did start to realize that the oil was coming through and here I'm actually trying to fix these little balls. I wasn't going to show you this part of the clip initially because I thought this was going to work but since it failed and I think it's very important to show my failures and not just the recipes that work. Um, here's what ended up happening when I tried to bake this at 350 degrees. I had a hunch that it wasn't working so I opened the oven and this is what I came to. I initially thought about throwing it away but I hate throwing things away so I greased a pan with some nonstick baking spray and I hurriedly and quickly try to spoon all of this mixture into this bowl and to try to salvage this at this point i still wasn't sure if it was going to work i sprinkled some more kit kats on top Here is a list of the ingredients to make these brownies actually work. So we're basically going to use a brownie box mix. Two eggs, we're going to use the amount of oil that calls for in the box and the amount of 
water that it calls in the box we're going to replace with milk obviously i don't have a clip of me doing this successfully but here we're going to pretend that this was all working perfectly and that we added the milk so of course at home in this part you're also going to add milk in the place of water of the amount that your box calls for also take a note that brownie boxes and brownie bags have the different amount of mix in them so be sure to follow the directions in the back so basically the only thing that we're changing is instead of water we're adding milk to make these brownies taste a little bit more homemade and for the part of the Kit Kats, if you want to customize these to another holiday or to a different theme or a different color, simply use chocolate chips or candies or chocolates that have different colors. Obviously, since I'm doing this for Valentine's Day, I did go ahead and use the Raspberry Kit Kat, which by the way, if these are a limited flavor, be sure to go out and look for them in your local grocery store in the Valentine's section. I did find out later after making this video that these are made with the new ruby red chocolate from Calibut. Cal I I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I will put it here so you can try to find uh, more about ruby red chocolate. But I definitely recommend it. And here are my beautifully cut pieces of chocolate. Also, another thing that I recommend when making brownies or dessert or cookies of any kind that have chips or things of that in them, save some of those pieces so that when you place your brownies in a pan or your cookies into little dough balls, so that you can place tiny little pieces of those pieces on the outside or over so that when it bakes, not all of your beautifully pink or different colored chips are hidden within the dough but that they can bake on the outside as well for a more aesthetically pleasing photograph and then once we have our batter we're going to grease our pan with nonstick spray and we are going to bake this at 350 degrees for between 28 to 31 minutes or until you stick a toothpick in the center or a knife and it comes out clean. Here are a few photos and videos of how my brownies turned out and this is exactly what I'm talking about when saving pieces and placing them on top so that they can bake on top and you can actually see what your brownies or your cookies have inside. Um, this is a view of my entire pan of brownies. Definitely, I know that this wasn't what it was meant to be. I did save this recipe. I know that. I take ownership of that. I hope that, however, you do try to make these brownies. You do taste this chocolate from Kit Kats because they are amazing. Um, definitely, let me know in the comments below if you've ever had a failed recipe. How did you save it? Um, what did you think about these brownies? Um, are you making anything else for Valentine's Day? Thank you so, so much for watching, you guys. And again, I felt like it was very important to show you my failures because sometimes I do spend a lot of time recipe testing in the kitchen. And a lot of times I don't want to show the footage because it doesn't work. But I feel like it's very important to show that all of us go through that stuff once in a while we all grow and learn you will make mistakes but keep trying again thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave me a comment don't forget to share this video with a friend subscribe before you go and i'll talk to you next time bye